Hi guys, Aquaguy UK here. Um, just a quick update on the tank and a review of the Aquasquire 2. Now this here is the Aquasquire 2. As you can see, it fits perfectly underneath. That's the original one. This is what comes with the LED. Now this one is perfect. It fits there. It's nice. It's bright. It's got all the fang, all the fangled things such as you can. Um, change all the color settings you can make it do storms not that I'm gonna bother with that um, you need the aqua I think it's called the aqua sky flu valve app from the App Store for most app stores which is the smart app that's what you need the smart app um, I actually got a timer on this one but you don't need it with this one because it's all done with the app um, I'm pretty sure if you look it's very self-explanatory I basically used it because I wanted to turn the lights on and off automatically, which this does perfectly. Um, you can actually add in storms to that into a cycle, so you can do it for a seven day cycle, you can do it each day. You can make the lights come up gradually, you can do, do morning, noon and night, which is very cool. And as you can see, it's a perfect fit. This one is the biggest one they do, which is the 33 watt. Um, I, you can get the 30 watt that will fit however I wanted the extra 3 watts because of this this sits perfectly now when you get the box you can actually retrofit these to any lid that has T5 or T8 it comes with little adapters now it's quite small it's quite unique so that's very good so I would suggest everyone should get that now I'm not going to show you the app purely because it's on my phone that I'm using at the moment and obviously I can't do that uh, the other thing I want to talk about is kit, what you should really do. What kit do you need? Now, this is what my kit basically has. I've done a water change, you'll have to excuse the mess. Now, the first thing I've got is this. This is ammonia. Dr. Tim's Aquatics, and it's ammonia. That will start your cycle. This will test to make sure and make it ready for the fish to go in so you need one of these those two definitely things now as you can see on the tank I do have a thermometer here I do have a thermometer here now the reason that I've got this thermometer which is very good 10 pound on eBay great is because I wanted to see if there was any dead spots in the tank and I found two so I've readjusted the output now this is a 406 and I'm going to be doing a review on the 406 I just haven't got around to it purely because it seems a lot of people don't know how to open it now I'll tell you the easiest way is when you open the clasp you push down the clasp it pops the seal simple as that it looks like she's just given birth Lots of fry in there, as you can see. There you go, look, I'm just putting some Anubius on there. Using elastic bands. Now, these caves, I will be doing a review on these caves. They were made by someone on Facebook. And they are very good. I really enjoy the way they look. I've got some moss balls in there as well. These are... These little white things here are calcium. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of people don't realize that calcium is what causes or can cause the droop on the back of guppies. Now, guppies tend to give birth quite a lot, and this is a big problem because it just basically runs them down. Um, they become flat. So you need to get some nutrients in there. I've also got some clay balls that I've put in there. As you can see at the back there. Now, foods. Foods. I do have a selection of foods. This one is the basic food. Everyone should have flake. Now, depending on what fish, you obviously want to know what fish that you're going to have. These, basically every live bearer should have one. They stick to everything. I've got some Vibra Bites. They go mad for these. 
These are quite good. The shrimp grab hold of these and they run away. They're, they're nuts. I do have frozen food. Now you can get frozen food, made in the quags to it, um, go to the fridge. I think there's five different types. Now they do a three pack. I pay £10 for a three pack, which is approximately four months of food. That's extremely good value. I've got some extra shrimp presume because it came free with it anyway. Um, so that's basically the equipment you need to get you started. Now obviously you're going to need other equipment such as things like this, your net, you're going to need net, you're going to need some form of cleaner. I prefer this type of cleaner on the glass purely because I'd never scratch glass with that which I think is quite cool. And also my siphon. Now there's my siphon there. Now I've just done a water change. Um, so basically that's what you need. Once you've done that, the, the world's your oyster. I mean, to be fair, um, H2O Aquatics I use. I'm gonna put a few descriptions of people that I used and info bases. But if anybody, anybody wants an LED, I paid 110 pound for a four foot tank, 33 watts. You can basically use it instead of your normal LED, which comes with the tank, which I would advise. Um, I mean, look at these plants, they're going crazy. And this isn't even the plant version of the flu valve. Anyway, it, you can put it um, on the lids of anything that has T5 or T8, it will fit. The little adapters are great. And I say, I, you can do basically anything that you can with the more expensive ones. Now, when I set up my marine tank, my lights on there were 780 pounds. These do exactly the same job. Now I've got a little bit of a flat. Look at those baby fish, look. We're loving it now. This is great as well. These these tiger lotuses. Look at that, look. It's great. Now I'm gonna do some updates. Um going through equipment again. Um just other stuff that I think that it's very important the differences between the big main manufacturers of filters such as Eheim and Flow uh, Fluval. The reason that I chose the Fluval over the Eheim, um, and basically what fish you should keep with what um, aquarium stuff. So, like cichlids, for instance, um, cichlids you wouldn't need necessarily clean parts, so you need something that's going to get rid of the nitrates quickly. And don't forget, guys, when you test your water. This is very important, it's a cycle. So when you test your water, this one here, this is the first step, but NH4, which is ammonium, is also in there. So be careful of that. The nitrite is your second one, and your nitrate is your third. Now, you need to check all of these things here. But they're the main one the hardness the pH these are also problems but the pH for me the higher the pH the more the ammonia basically so you need to keep an eye on that and remember it's a cycle you keep it up first week four parts per million using the ammonia second week two parts per million because by then you should be producing bacteria and obviously when you take away the ammonia and you put fish in you won't be producing four parts per million and you can get what's known as an ammonia spike anyway thanks for watching guys please hit the subscribe button or like button any suggestions for further videos i'm going to leave you with that oh i like this like this this is so cool everyone should have one of these it's a water polisher when you do your water change you just do that i'm going to do a, a series on that as well look at these little amano shrimp look Everyone should have them in their tank. They're just such a good looking shrimp. They're hardy. They do really do a good job of keeping things clean. And I think if you look closely, there's a moss, there you go, there's a moss ball just there. They're quite good because they can outcompete algae. There's the first generation. So I will be updating the fish in this tank. These are rescue fish, as I say, so I'm going to mess about with these guys. There you go, look. There she is. One of them full of eggs. And 
and if you have a look at the back I just want to show you this the back is full of algae you see the back glass there it's not on the front it's on the back I leave that there because a lot of the fish and creatures that I have in here love to graze and it's ideal for them okay guys thanks for watching don't forget subscribe notification lovely jubbly take care bye